Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. In front of us right now is Blue's Helicopter Pursuit from the latest Jurassic World wave. And there are a lot of things to like about this set. It is set number 75928. It has 397 parts. Sells for $40 US or $50 uh, or 50 euro, I should say. And that actually makes it the best part to price ratio out of any of the Jurassic World sets that came out in this particular wave. But um, this wave was a bit more expensive than the average one. So this is about an averagely priced set. There are plenty of things to like about this set though. So I'm gonna go through it um, basically from the parts that I like the most to uh, the parts that I like the least, I guess. And normally I'm gonna start off with the minifigs, but there's something so special about this helicopter that I've gotta get into the main bit of the build right here, right now, right in the beginning. And I just did a quick brick set search for the keyword helicopter. And guess how many helicopters, or at least helicopter sets showed up when I searched for that within the brick set website? I found 347 matches. So potentially that means 347 Lego sets that have come out that feature a helicopter of some kind. So in no way, shape or form is Lego unfamiliar with the design of a helicopter. I think first of all, the shape here is pretty nice. It definitely gives kind of a Huey or Blackbird sort of feel to it. Um, and it's some kind of attack or reconnaissance helicopter. We've got the lights on one side and then of course the six shot stud shooter on the other. It's attached uh, pretty strongly as well. Um, some seats on the inside, there's a cockpit and everything, but okay, what I really wanna get, uh, what I'm really getting at here though is okay, there's almost enough helicopter sets to match a new helicopter set for every single day of the year. Lego has been making helicopters for so long and I'm not sure if this is the first time they've ever put this into a design, but check this out. Why has this not been a thing before? It's such a good idea. It's just a, it's just a little gear at the bottom. It goes all the way through the middle and that spin lasts forever. Also, you don't get a lot of that blade wobble because that Technic cross piece is, is, is matched up. It's not gonna wobble around in there. It's, it goes all the way out there so that the bar on the inside doesn't have enough space to kind of go you know, and the blades kind of, they spin and then they go and they kind of, they kind of slow down. That doesn't happen with this, it's not possible. So A, you don't get the blade wobble and B, you don't have to spin the blades around and accidentally break them off on accident because it's, I mean, they've actually, they've combated that problem before. And I mean, you can still spin the, spin the blades at the top, that's fine. But I mean, if you're swooshing this around and you're going like this, you can kind of just, you can kind of just keep the thing going if you want. That's so cool. That's such a good design and I can't believe I've never seen this before. If you've seen this type of build within a Lego helicopter set uh, at some other point, please let me know in the comment section below because this is the first time I've seen it and it absolutely blew my mind. It really is um, a step ahead, I think, compared to any of the other helicopter designs that we've ever seen before it and I hope Lego uh, implements this with more helicopter designs in the future. All right, though, there are definitely some more details to see a little bit closer that I think are worth taking a look at. I do like this little arch that goes over there. Um, one open seat for a character here. And yes, you can just kind of break off the top. We've got enough space. That is a printed piece there. And uh, just a little joystick, another seat. So that's enough space for all the minifigs in the set can fit within the vehicle, which I like. I like if all the minifigs can have a space within the place, so to speak. The back has uh, sort of a double jointed little piece here for the hook that's, that's gonna grab onto the cage that has blue in there. And this also, oop, it, it clips on and inside is an egg as well as a tranquilizer dart. So that actually can kind of clip on and, and it can move around a little bit, but it's kind of meant to stay there as, a, as sort of a cargo container that you can attach or detach from the back of the ship. There is another little side propeller, another little side propeller. Spins around, sure, there's a couple of little bits of sticker detailing, not too much. In fact, very, very little. Um, and it's not very distracting or really that noticeable. Anyways, um, 10 times out of 10 though, I'm just gonna be constantly playing with this and I'm gonna be questioning why on earth have we never seen this kind of build before? It really is such a good design. And all right, the last thing I wanna show you is of course it does have the six shot stud shooter on this side. I just want you, I want you to see uh, that you can of course work it. Let's see if I can hit blue. These are tranquilizer shots. Wow, not that accurate. 
There you go, I got one to flip off his tail. And um, right, so you lose all those shots and the set does come with a bunch of extras because that is just an inevitability. Alrighty, now let's jump into the minifigs and we're gonna start off with blue. That's right, I'm calling him a minifig. They didn't call him a Velociraptor, they didn't say Dilophosaurus, they didn't say Pteranodon. Uh, they said blue because he is, uh, you know, he's he's sort of a character. He's he's his friend, right? So blue should be considered a minifigure. At least I'm going to call him that for now. Awesome Velociraptor mold. Uh, just like the rest of these guys, you can take off the legs. You can take off the arms. You can take off the head. Just fits in there with a little pin piece. And it comes with that little snap, right? It's a satisfying little snap that you can make with this guy. But... Really what makes him unique is the, uh, you know, his, his body's molded in sand green. We have the dark tan and this special printing that goes all along the tail, all along the body. It matches up really, really well. I think this is my favorite little bit of squiggly printing there. And the red and yellow eye is juxtaposed really nicely with that dark blue. So that is blue. He's not completely blue, but uh, they call him that because he has just slightly different markings, I think, compared to the rest of the raptors. And uh, and also, he's 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 his friend, right? Isn't that the whole thing? I haven't seen the movie yet. In fact, the movie's not out as of the recording of this of this video. But anyways, uh, really really cool guy. And now let's take a look at his friend Owen. This Owen is the same as other versions of him in other sets. So the print for his body is the same. He's got a vest as well as a shirt underneath it. I do like the juxtaposition though of that kind of gray blue color with the reddish brown. The print that goes onto his pants is nice with the belt and that extra, extra little satchel for his pocket. And the, really, the only thing that really makes him different are the accessories that come with him. So he has sort of a Santa Claus satchel on his back that can hold an entire egg if you want. And his accessory is a crossbow, a crossbow stud shooter. So that's kind of interesting. I didn't know he was going to be having a weapon like that, but it looks like Owen is going to be rocking a crossbow in this movie. And it's also the only one that doesn't have any type of uh, tranquilizing stud. That actually looks like a metal something. It looks like something metallic, uh, something that could actually maybe do a little bit more damage than a tranquilizer dart. Sorry, my mistake. Blue is not actually exclusive to this set, but let's check out Wheatley, who also isn't exclusive to the set. I'm not entirely sure who this character is supposed to be, but he's got what looks like sort of a tracker's kind of uh, print. He has what looks like tranquilizer darts that are on a side satchel or something that wraps around his waist, wraps around his shoulder. He comes with a stud shooter as well. This time it's molded in flat silver. And I think what he's holding is a dinosaur tooth or a dinosaur nail. He doesn't look like the happiest of campers. I'm not sure if he's too thrilled to be going out and uh, trying to capture or rescue a raptor. But the print that is new for this guy, the make up the torso piece, is actually pretty decent. Now, this line has been pretty lazy with the characters that aren't actual characters. Like anybody who isn't a named character pretty much has this print. They either call them trackers or guards. This guy is called the pilot, so he's supposed to be piloting the helicopter, but he looks like the exact same guy that came out for all the other sets. The flesh tone for him is darker this time around. He's got a cap with goggles, and because he's a pilot, he doesn't come with any type of weapon accessory. Now, the last little bit in this, uh, in this set, the last little thing to show off is this little ATV. Honestly, it's probably one of the better builds for an ATV that we usually get from a set. There's tons of different times we get little quads like this, but they're not quite as detailed. We have that little extra bit of a clip that comes out from the bottom, which is nice. You can even see some suspension in the back, which they hardly ever do. And the front part is probably the best with that uh, grill piece. You know, you can fold it down in the front. It's kind of a little bit of an extra cage. Uh, even, I guess, this could be some kind of windscreen or something. I just push the handlebars down there because it's easier for Owen to fit there. And it even comes with a little jointed piece where you can attach a trailer. Now, the trailer, I've taken this part out of the helicopter. Once again, it's just kind of uh, uh, it's kind of the, the, the piece that you can bring out. There's the egg, which has a little bit of an extra accessory, and you can attach that into the center if it wants to fit in there. There we go. And yeah, it fits in just right. So this is this is a pretty good little pretty good little setup right here. Also this is kind of fun. The spare tire really does like to spin around. So you can really play around with that. Anyways yeah 
it's a it's a fun little build definitely an above average build that we have for a quad now let's say the entire pursuit with blue has gone uh according to plan so there is this kind of i guess trap or something that's laid for blue maybe this is just the the standard transport cage that they use to move raptors around but uh you can have him stand there of course if his feet want to stay there we go uh, you can get blue to stand in the center there and maybe this is an automated function maybe not uh, but you can flip up all of the the side railing all the cage stuff it kind of comes up all around there's a little bit of leafy green that thing that he was lured in there he's got a little chicken leg and if you can if you can manage it let's see if this let's see if this will hook onto itself not too difficult there we go and the helicopter takes off it's a pretty solid bit of building that has blue hooked on there i kind of like the fact that we don't have that string hook that lowers down to the bottom just because um, it's really hard to kind of it's kind of annoying almost to be winding that thing back up and down this is a much easier function to actually hook on because this is this has got a little bit more tension so when you take the hook out it's not going to be wobbling around anywhere and you can just very easily thread it through the loop and uh, no problems at all so in conclusion this set has a lot going for it first of all it's the only really well priced set i would say that came from this wave the other ones um, I can understand why they're above average in terms of regular part to price ratio, but this is the one that is by far the most reasonable. And uh, let's see what else is good about the set. The fact that the helicopter can have the blades spinning from underneath is wonderful. Uh, the blue minifig, or sorry, the blue raptor fig is great. The printing form is awesome. Um, they even tried a little bit harder with the quad. The quad is definitely an above average build. Maybe not the vehicle that uh, really does it for me, but I like that they, they added a little bit of extra effort. We get three minifigs, and uh, this one feels like probably the best bang for the buck out of the Jurassic World wave. Oh, hey everybody, hope you enjoyed that video. I just wanted to pop in really quick and say that we do have a web store, BrickVault.toys, uh, that sell instructions for super high quality mocks uh, that are built by incredibly talented designers. So that is the first link in the description below. And also there's other videos too. We've got other things if you wanna watch that. All right, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time at BrickVault.